What if you try being likable? Hi. Evelyn Ravenbrooks. Yeah, did someone die in there or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. Earth to Trinity. Huh? Hmm? Uh, so who wants dessert tonight? I may bake a cake. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe a buttercream, like I did with Mr. Kibbles. Uh, well, heaven is a farm. Mm. Um, Trinity, can you come in here, honey? Principal Abenante stopped by. Ah, poor man. Trinity, uh, have you been snooping around over there? This is supposed to be a fresh start. But it sounds like the same stuff you were pulling before we came to Raven Brooks. You supposed to be a fresh start. Same stuff. We're so glad you decided to stop by. Here she is. You remember Mr. Peterson, don't you? Goggles. <laughs> what great decorating skills. Unfortunately, Trinity can't have sugar. This is going to be great for you. And even better for me. Twelve outlets in my new home office. Twelve. <laughs> no. Across the street, dingus. <laughs> <laughs> She's very interested in the Inventors Club. Isn't that right, Trinity? Ah, thirteen! I recounted in my office has thirteen outlets. <gasps> uh, or... You're already sleeping again? We've been here one day. He probably just buried a pet. Ooh. I'm definitely buying a standing desk for my office. Need to stay healthy. Trinity, don't be late for school. No. Now. She said you're hanging out with some boy named Nikki. If it's starting again. We're not finished here. Oops. You got lucky last time, young lady. Then stop being so dramatic. Also dramatic. <laughs> lucky last time. Ah, 13 hours. <laughs> Trinity, can you come here? There's someone we want you to meet. I was meaning to visit and introduce myself, but I've just been so busy in my home office. <gasps> Our neighbor that your principal told us about. Mm. Uh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Please, come in. <laughs> Eyes up! Happy to see new students interested in extracurriculars. <laughs> Mr. Murtaugh's science room? And don't let that Ivan kid turn you into a guinea pig. Oh, those happy burgers are murder. Mm. It's not your daughter's fault. Nikki has a long history at the school and none of it admirable. He always pounces on the new students because the old ones are already wise to his shenanigans. <laughs> Mr. Peterson. Yes, a terrible tragedy. He lost his family recently. His wife was on our board and, and his children, well... We miss them so much. It wasn't a single incident. His wife? A uh, gruesome car accident. And his children? Missing. Can you imagine? It's no wonder that he's not himself. Who would be? But it's unfortunate that kids, my students, make his misery worse. Nikki being the prime offender. And how would you know about that? Nikki, you don't have to say it. I already know. That's why I wanted to stop by. You're new here, so there's no way you can know about him. But remember, we have to be careful with the company we keep. Reputations rub off. <sighs> Let's keep in touch, hmm? Anyone seen Nicky? He stole materials from my supply room, and let's just say... Flammable. Brilliant. What are, what are you kids up to? <laughs> Coming right up. No lunch? It's from Happy's Humble Burger Farm today. Welcome, Bill's family! Hey there! Glad to see you made it in one piece. Here are your keys and a little something for me to say congrats. You got the best deal in Ravenbrooks. Great schools and excellent after-school huh? programs. They really keep the kids there out of trouble. Your mom said you're interested in the Inventors Club? I'm telling you, I'm on a hot streak. Even managed to sell the death house to some family from Shelbyville. <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! Ha! Of course the 
They can't sue me. It was natural causes. Anyone? Please.